Andrew Tate's angels pressured victim to get a boob job to make her more attractive, claim prosecutors. And then the, on the other side, they were claiming that there's like new, newly unearthed audio that shows uh, that some of Andrew Tate's victims were like coll uh, colluding. Tate Tate's entourage is alleged to have pressured one of the models to undergo plastic surgery while she was working as a part of his webcam scheme. Uh, the Tate brothers are alleged to have paid an unnamed woman to undergo surgery before she eventually fled their suspected trafficking operation. The procedure in Romania costs upwards of 2,500 euros. The model was encouraged by the Tate brothers to get a boob job to be more attractive <coughs> uh, for the clients, a judicial source told The Sun Online. In a statement to The Sun Online, the Tate said they never told their associates to use pressure or intimidation tactics towards their employees. The woman who Romanian police are treating as a potential victim claims she was forced to work 12-hour shifts with just five-minute breaks. It is alleged she had also been beaten by one of Tate's so-called angels, Georgiana Nagel. Nagel is alleged to have tortured her by forcing her to raise her arms in the air, causing her immense pain as it stretched out the still healing scars from her boob job. And then she eventually left the Tate operation. Nagel and the other angel, Luana Radu, attempted to make her pay the money for the surgery back. The victim is reported to have filed a complaint with the cops in Voluntari on the outskirts of Bucharest. But cops are alleged to have swept it under the carpet as they wanted to protect Radu, a former policewoman. Romanian internal affairs are now probing the seemingly botched investigation as well. Romanian, uh, the victim is alleged to have undergone a breast augmentation procedure in October 2021, paid for by the Tates. And a few days later, she's claimed to have decided to quit working for the brothers. She's reported to have gotten into a row with Radu and Nagel, with the latter then slapping her and forcing her to raise her right arm. The duo then allegedly told her she would have to pay the Tates back for the best implants if she quit. And they then allegedly took her mobile phone and laptop as she fled. She reportedly filed a complaint with the police and the women further. And then the women returned her items, but cops failed to investigate any further. Romanian authorities have launched internal investigation as it believes the complaints against the Tates were filed in 2021 and 2022, but were not pursued. They are still... It's a row. Having a row, not a row. Ow. Okay, shut the fuck up. The English language is stupid. And you are stupid as well. You, for correcting me. Whatever. I don't care. Um, then there's also the other side, I guess. Like, uh, it's something I've seen a lot uh, on, on, you know, the no jumper style. Uh, no jumper side of the internet. And I, I haven't even looked into it further, but I suspect that it's probably, I suspect that it's most likely uh, misconstrued given previous uh, information, given previous information that was uh, misconstrued by uh, Andrew Tate Stans. Where is, uh, does anyone have that? It's like, they're, they're claiming that uh, the two victims, some of the two victims were colluding. Oh, Rap House TV has it. Let's go. And uh, the only people that have talked about this, exclusive wiretaps, revealed that Andrew Tate and his brother Tristan Tate were allegedly framed by their victims. Now, what I find particularly interesting about this is that the exclusive wiretaps are only covered by Rap House TV, No Jumper, and the like. Okay? Like, no serious media outlet has covered this yet. Now, of course, people will say, oh, that's because of the, the Matrix, right? But given the um, DJ Academics, No Jumper, Rap House TV's track record on issues, especially issues that pertain to misogyny misogynistic people uh what they may or may not have done you know i don't know if this is going to be uh the entirety of the situation just play it cool got it like you don't know play dumb bear i'm not going to pull some tears eliona and play dumb good advice thank you babe we are so good though we need a fucking oscar let's go let's just go play it cool and change my name so it will not start a lol got it yeah i told you to be like saying a nice message and that we we're hurt or shit like that and that we do love them, but just don't like the situation. So they will not think we are really against them, you know? Wait. They're saying you're colluding, but these are this can absolutely be read as like two victims of domestic violence. Just not letting the, the responsible party recognize that they uh, are, are going to be met with like any kind of fucking uh, accountability or consequences for their actions. I don't get it. 
Yeah, that's smart. Play the victim. I mean, we are, but like, yeah, act like we still love them and stuff. Haha. <laughs> I mean, we are. Wait, what? 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 This is a WhatsApp conversation between two of their, uh, between uh, uh two of the uh, other, uh, two of the other like remaining uh, victims. Andrew Tate stands are claiming that the audio is a deep fake and it's not his voice. Here, are audio experts say it's fake. Yeah, I'm sure. This is new unearthed uh court documents, I guess. Which is, uh, you know, something that you can very easily, if you don't show the entirety of the conversation, something you can easily uh, spread misinformation with. Uh, it doesn't imply the things that they're claiming it implies. And they're, they're just like massaging the narrative to uh, claim that Andrew Tate is being framed when it's not just two people. The irony, of course, is that the people that do this kind of thing are so stupid because, like, they still literally say framed by their victims. Like, they're too stupid to do propaganda better. You shouldn't be calling them fucking victims then, idiot. You should call them false victims. Faking victimhood. Dumbass. If you say they're allegedly framed by their victims, you still are literally calling them victims. There's a second paperwork. I want to see the, uh, I want to see the other one. Yeah, just say accusers, dude. Framed by accusers. When they say they deserve an Oscar... That is not because they deserve an Oscar, or at least nothing here implies that they claim to deserve an Oscar for lying to the authorities. Like, this, this is not about lying to the authorities. This is about lying to Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate, who they still very much call abusers in this situation. But I don't think they understand that. Or even if they do understand that, I'm pretty sure they're just, like, making it seem like that's not the case. I think it is a human rights violation what they're doing to Andrew Tate. I'll, I'll come out and say it. Like, all things considered, the fact that they won't let him shave his fucking head. I mean, dude, come on. Actually, like, you know, I'm a disability advocate, as you guys know. I'm a disability activist, as you guys know. And one of the things that I obviously consider a disability is the follically challenged community. And I think it's vile that this follically chal challenged man is being forced to fucking grow his hair out like this, or rather, lack thereof. And it's pretty fucked up that they won't let him cut it. Oh, free the Tates. The alleged victims wiretaps expose and set up lies. Wow, this is disturbing. They should be locked up immediately and exposed. Free the brothers now. He only highlights the corruption in this case. For sure, we have to. I'm dying inside. Let's email Netflix ASAP, Hulu, Amazon Prime. Emma Gaby, when talking to her family, look... I know I don't believe I can handle this, but I can. I'm not so concerned. Tristan doesn't really care if I leave. Going because we've made the brothers believe we are in love. They think we will run back. My main concern are coming from things uh, some girls are saying. A lot to explain, but we will be out there, but we will be out of here fine. I don't think they care much if we will leave anyway, which is why I feel okay. I will make the call, do the right thing in the situation. Right now, we both want to be in London. I can't. I listen to the voice message. Go to London, but why have all the American embassy on alert? You're causing a major upheaval because the Marines and all American squad is going to go now. Fuck it, Emma. Fuck it. Wait, why are they th saying that this is framing? They're, th this openly implies that like these people were fearful of their safety, but like it, they got some level of assurance that they would still be fine because they were lying to the brothers to make it seem as though they were uh, still in love with them. You called. I didn't. Mom, I want. Mom, I want to leave London. You called that on you. Tell them to come Tuesday when we leave. Then they can see everything. Bear, uh, look, if you stop me from going to London, expect me to disappear. I want to go to London. How dare you put me in danger like that? You called, not me. Go to hell, Emma. With your arrogance and ignorance and bullshit, go whoop whoop land or Bangkok or Bora Bora. Who's, who is stopping you? The whole American embassy is on alert. Shame on you. That's your fault. Thanks. If you know anything about domestic situations where domestic abuse is happening or domestic violence is happening, victims oftentimes lie to their fucking perpetrator for preservation. What the fuck are you talking about? None of this indicates that they were like lying to the police. They only talk about how they're lying to the Tate brothers and they openly mention why they're lying to the Tate brothers. What the fuck? Dude, there are dudes in the chat going, they lied to the Tate brothers and made it seem like they still love them. That's illegal. That's like worse than the sex uh, trafficking, I think. I don't know if this is a court document or not. I don't know where they got this from. But even, even if, 
even if this was massaged to make it seem even worse than it actually is, it's pretty funny because like this literally doesn't show the thing they think it shows. You only believe this if you've never understood like how domestic violence occurs, how victims of domestic violence behave, and how they try to get out of these situations. This just reads like two people that are victim to domestic violence and domestic abuse. And they're talking to one another in, in, in their effort to get away. So I don't understand why people look at this and go, that's manipulation. They lied to the guys. It could be real. It could be fake. But it's even funnier if it's fucking fake. Because even the fucking fake documents they put forward doesn't you know, doesn't uh, create the narrative they think it creates for at least adults. God, Tate's ex speaking like about this. <laughs> I mean, dude, they're they're trying to fucking hit it from every avenue they can. It doesn't matter. The investigation will be concluded. They'll release the information and we can make a better assessment going forward after that. My judgment on the situation pertains to what Andrew Tate has said words he has chosen to use, what he has admitted to, and that's it. The idea that, like, they were, these messages show that they were planning to frame the Tates is kind of stupid. U.S. woman arrived in Romania. They called the U.S. Embassy to frame the Tates. Her mom, go to hell, Emma, with your arrogance and ignorance and bullshit. Go to Whoop Whoop Land or Bangkok or Bora Bora. Who's stopping you? The whole American embassy is uh, on alert because of you? What the fuck? I mean, this guy did a better job at least. Suleiman Ahmed, investigative journalist. He's doing a better job reframing it because he's like feeding you the, the what you're supposed to think about each line instead. The other guys have not done such a good job. The other accounts that were like uh, saying like, oh, these victims are lying uh, or whatever. They didn't do such a good job. This is doing a little bit better. It's adding context that's probably not true. Um, it literally doesn't make sense. Why the fuck would they pre-plan to escape from their traffickers they're like hey we hate these guys we're terrified of them it's obvious that's why we're lying to them about being in love with them that level of deception is a necessity to what frame them they're like hey we're gonna get trafficked as a joke as a meme just so we can frame these guys that complete autonomy they could leave she states that uh she says that the tates believing they love them used to and use love to say tristan doesn't really doesn't really care if i leave they think we will run back. Yeah. I don't think this guy understands what they what this implies here. Like they're saying, I'm fearful, but I think I've made a convincing enough job to make my my, you know, kidnappers basically convinced that I love them so much that I won't actually escape. Then they plan their Oscar winning performance two days before the raid. You are such a good act at practice. I practice play dumb. I'm gonna pull some tears out. Then one day before the raid, they say, we need an Oscar, but also plan the whole lover boy. Yeah, they're saying they needed an Oscar for their performance to create a false sense of security within the fucking people that they believe are have kidnapped them at this point. Not like, not once do they mention that they need an Oscar for their performance lying to the police as this is like trying to make it seem. And what's the goal? Well, it's to get a movie written about them. Hollywood signed these girls up. We are writing a movie ASAP. Let's email Netflix ASAP, Hulu, Amazon Prime. I have verified the authenticity of these messages. They are real. The timestamp issue was due to a glitch download issue. If these were doctored, then fake times would have been created to stop any contentions. But it was important that no one change the original document. To recap, the girls brainwashed the Tates into thinking they love them. Uh, seems like it's a skill issue then, isn't it? Are you telling me that my goats, my kings, the Tate brothers, were so weak and humiliated that they were brainwashed by women? By bitches? I thought no bitch has enough processing power to be able to brainwash and manipulate a man. Especially not just any man, but the top G. All of the people that will respond to this in the way that Andrew Tate would want them to respond to are so fucking stupid and so misogynistic that they don't even understand uh, anything outside of women be trifling, okay? So, of course, there are hundreds of thousands of people that will look to this article and go, lying to your abuser in an abusive situation to get out of that abusive situation is worse than the actual abusive situation that your abuser put you in.